This is a case of out of power supply. Today we are going to make a battery that consists of 100 amp power capacity for it. So let's take it apart to look what's inside. Okay, let's look what's inside. Wow. So this part is an inverter and this part is the DC part. And for this space, we consist of a battery group that we're going to make. According to the size of the outer power supply, which is this, the FAPO4, and capacity is 100 amp power. And the single one capacity is 100 amp power. We're going to make four strings, 12 volts for the outer power supply. And I also prepare an BMS board. It's a four strings, 12 volts, the FAPO4 BMS board. And now let's do it. The first step, we have to make an uh, installation. We will use the exposed board. Okay, we have to fix it with the fiber type. And next, we're going to weld it. One hour later. When finished the welding, and this is a copper sheet, we made a connection with the battery. And this is the BIMS board that we prepared. And then the discharge current we choose is 100 ampere. So the flat wire of the BIMS board. So next, we're going to weld the flat wire to the battery. Let's do it. The flat wire has been welded, and next part we have to use the detector to check the sequence of the flat wire. It's no problem. Okay, so the beam board has been installed, and next part is very important. We have to use the multimeter to check the voltage before the beam board and after the beam board. So before the beam board, we have to know the voltage. So we put it here, and now we can see the total voltage of the battery is 13.22 volts. Okay, now after the beam board, you can see the voltage now we can see is still the same. Okay, so it's no problem with beam board. Because we can see here the outer power supply has two input terminal, and so we also have to prepare two outer terminal, two in one. And next, we use the exposed board to pack the battery and the make in solution. We put the battery into the box and tighten the screw. When I finish the connection to the battery and the box. This is the inside of the outer power supply. So we press here, stop button. And also the AC part. So let's have the test. Okay, it works now. The temperature is 300 degree. Good. So now we're finished the assembly. Okay, the final step is the package. When you're finished, so this is the outer power supply and also it's a solar power generator. Okay guys, what do you want to know next time? Leave your comments below and see you next time. Bye.